We're back. <laughs> you think I'm gonna do <laughs> That is like how I greet people, by the way. The legitimately <laughs> is how I greet people. So, let's get into the game. Can you see it okay, Keo? Yeah, you. Oh, it made a boo. Fun fact, I'm an easy mode person. I go for easy mode. I prefer this, like, there is no shame, honestly, going for easy mode. Because if you like the story and you don't want to have to deal with bollocks, go for easy mode. It's way better. Despite the sting most people give fucking easy mode, it is bullcrap. Because, come on. The point of a game is to enjoy the goddamn game. It's not to, like, force a challenge on yourself that you don't want. So, people who are against easy mode, you're, you're fools. You don't know what you're talking about! Let me check something. I think there's a reason I do hard mode in this one. Like, it says under it, I believe. It, no. like, said, it listed. Oh, Uzi, you have to get some of the achievements in the hard mode. That's what I'm double-checking. Oh. Riveting gameplay, folks. <laughs> I apologize. It's- I literally forgot if I- if there's a reason I did hard mode or not. Yes, there is! <laughs> there is an achievement for doing it, so we're going to do this in hard mode, folks, which I've done before! Puzzles okay. The puzzles are not that different, and we have a hit. We have a walkthrough. Oh. It's always like it. That happened. There's been a murder. <laughs> well, that's a t heck of a time skip. <laughs> It seems that we have a visitor, Holmes. Indeed. Sorry, Come in. Me. Hello, oh, Sir Henry me. Baskerville. Did you have a good trip? But how do you know who I am? I had not announced my visit. By looking at your dress, it is totally unsuited to our wet English weather. This allowed me to deduce that you came here in a hurry and carrying the bare minimum in your luggage. Then there is a blue ink stain on your thumb. The same oh blue ink God, used by the passenger service at Station so to obvious. get tickets. Your ticket tickets <laughs> has stained your thumb because of the rain. I'm also, sorry, I had to do that because the way his mouth was with the initials <laughs> HB, But still, I had not yet made the connection with the famous Baskerville family. It is by remembering a Times article that I deduced your identity. It was telling of the odd death of Charles Baskerville and the likely return of his nephew and only heir, Henry. Brilliant. Your reputation is well-deserved, Mr. Holmes. But let me explain the purpose of my visit. I am... You do not believe in legends, <laughs> and you would like to clear the circumstances of your uncle's death. Get you a drink, a factual, everyone. logical, and Turn rational in for explanation this. of what yeah, some call the curse <laughs> of the Baskervilles. And who else, in all modesty, <laughs> but Sherlock Holmes and his faithful friend, Dr. Watson, would be able to solve such a mystery. And the Watson, difference is friend, pack your bags. We're really apparent right Hall. now. Tell us about the curse of the Baskervilles, Henry. Its origin dates back to my ancestor, Hugo oh, Baskerville. Yeah. It is said he was this a vile a person who earned the wrath of the devil. After his death, all our ancestors seemed to come to bad ends at Baskerville Hall. At the scene of each death, there were always dog and they did go in the hall. tracks, but gigantic. I distinctly remember Watson, the like, talking about how cold the goddamn war was. The hound of I remember the that wording. No, My uncle was sure that it was a reality. Difference. He was convinced that the beast would Watson take him sooner or later, own. as it took all those our lineage. With his last it's letter, he Judy. sent me this medallion. According to Charles, it was needed story, to break the curse Watson of the Baskervilles, but he did not know how to use it. Do you believe in this legend, Mr. Holmes? We'll have to exhaust and all Henry other oh, before yeah. that one. Holmes. It was somebody Baskerville working Hall for the Baskervilles. Henry hadn't even entered London yet. Ah, it's been a while since I've actually Doctor, read the story. Like, I read that back when I was The servants like, are not here to welcome cool. us, I fear. Too, they were severely affected by the death of my uncle. And my I've memory is retired. not as good as yours, and you know this for a fact. True. 
the family portrait. Also, I love when they talk, their mouths go up, 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 These to be pictures honest, have not always been so disturbing. According to my uncle, here. the changes in the paintings occurred after Poirot the violent the death detective. of the portrayed ghost. <laughs> <Basketball. laughs> yeah. It appears to be one of the effects of the and curse. And freaking... Ugh. I don't have a Poirot game. Well, there needs to be one, jeez. Have you noticed? Oh my the god. Hastings is a better watch I've always loved Hastings. It's sillier. Indeed, it is an interesting point to begin our investigation. Where can these coats of arms be, and why did they disappear? Like, honestly, a lot of people Let's do have them. some I issues with arms, and I can understand those, those issues. Those faces is unbearable. Like, I just like it because it's very, like, it very weaves a very interesting tale. <laughs> Hang on, is it near the full moon? Are we, are we gonna have to deal with werewolves at this tar trying time either? Not quite. Werewolves! Wait, why did you. Oh, you're trying to go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. You're missing horribly. Oh, okay, turn it on the. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, yeah. Let's hear the solution. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, that works. That's a little better. <laughs> yes. well, one wolf statue's already been horribly destroyed. I killed him at the neck. I was the, oh god, the plank's up the door, yeah. Get the crowbar! Reference. Oh, I already a poodle. I know why I pronounced it that way, but. <laughs> yep. Ah. Uh, this is quite normal, actually. A poozle. I mean, it is just really the comics game, so. Let's see if I can remember okay. the solution. Uh. It's been a little while since I've played this. I mean, that one has a little. has a, uh, a blue at the end of it, the one at the bottom. Actually, I think I know what to do. I think I have to, like, actually put them up here so the blue will actually work. Oh, clever. Again, it's been a little while since I've played this, so please forgive me, folks. Forgive the transgressions of men. Yep. I don't want to say it that way, but. <laughs> Ooh! You need another little crossy. Yeah. Cross I know. Hmm. Well, maybe. Oh. Can't work. Can't fight. You need something. That you, I think at the bottom you need one, one that goes both ways. Yeah, I, I think I'm just kind of. Again, it's. Yeah, been... I think that one. That one. Yeah, I think so too. It's just. And that one. There we go. Okay, That's, there, that you was there you go. There you go. Also, am so I hearing Roger your cat in the background? Certainly one of the Probably. most famous hunters in all of Great Britain. <laughs> he might give his opinion at some point. Indeed, Dr. Watson, my grandfather spent a large part of his life traveling the colonies of the Empire to stalk the largest predators in the world. Let us try to learn more about the tragic death of Sir Roger Baskerville. Such a distinguished hunter could not possibly have been killed by a simple dog. Ah! Hi, puppy. What the fuck? Ah woo! Ah woo! We have a map. Mother frickers. <laughs> we got got the map, the map, the map. <laughs> and it's, it's the reason I love maps with fast travel. Wait. Oh. I just noticed that. That thing is bl the, this thing is blinking. What? It's alive! 
Its buttocks is hanging off the other end. <laughs> Just in case. I opened its eyes. I told you it was oh. blinking. Oh, oh, that was the puppy. Ha, <laughs> puppy. That's a that's a smart. <laughs> I need to roast. You need to get the roast off. Yeah. Just, just use a little spitting rag. That'll do the trick. <laughs> Welcome to the hidden object scenes. Ah. Uh, I played a couple of these. Shouldn't be too much. I will warn I'm a little rusty on this game, I think, which is why it took me a while to figure things out because it's been a while. Oh. This is under the table. What's under the table? Yeah, right there, there it is. You had your mouse on it. Nope. Nope. Yep. Okay, that's what you meant. Sorry. You silly booger. Ah, I see the hamper now. I just have to get a little closer to the screen. Mm -hmm. Actually makes sense. Like he was a hunter. He's gonna have this shit. Yeah. I mean the bell's obvious because it's on the wall. Let's see. Wine skin horn. Ah, oh, there's a smoking pipe right here. Try near the axe. Is that anything? Uh, it doesn't. The look... axe. No, the axe. The is... other side. Oh, that's well, below the... that. The wine skin. See, I thought that was something. I'm trying to find the hook scale, actually. There's the horn. Also, how beautifully illustrated is this? Oh, yeah, very good. Oh, you're yeah, still a booger. You have no. Scale, hook, right? A hook scale. It's more. I wait. I know what a hook scale looks like. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Huh. <laughs> I'm not telling you, but I remember what it looks peel. like now. Just peel your eyes. Ew. And ow. Not that. You know what I mean. Keep your eyes peeled. Jeez. It's an expression, you silly booger. I know it's an expression, but just the thought of it makes me go ew and ow. I'm gonna poke you for that one. <laughs> no! I'm the one playing this game, do not poke me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I used to do this so fast. I'm so pissed at myself. Come on, use your eyes! Focusing on the on the on the shapes. <laughs> I'm trying. You're trying. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Look at clock. <laughs> the most obvious thing ever. <laughs> I have done this so many times. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh yeah, just and now you crank. Now you pull the crank. You pull the crank. A unicorn, a dragon, oh my a god. werewolf. It's I based on the secret eyes. garden. There's a werewolf. Don't oh, let the fool you not a dragon! 
No, don't kill the dragon. Dr. Watson is right. It is unlikely that these fantastic animals ever existed. It is, rather, a matter of a remarkable job of taxidermy. Oh, baby. Oh, they chained his mouth. No. Baby, I'll free you. Well, we have to free him. Good. He needs to be freed. My friend has a thing about dragons and the like. There's nothing to do in this area, which we may as well explore. Except free the boy. This is a puzzle. There's the guy that started the whole damn mess. Oh. He's wearing a palm wig. Coat of arms. You know, my family actually does have a coat of arms. Mine too. Yeah. Pretty old though. I don't know where it got put. I... Mine's on a glass that I'm keeping. Oh. Well, so if I go into an accident, people, that's just, just, that's just how I am. I go into it without even thinking. Because I'm so used to voice acting on my videos. And, uh, voice acting and other things that I kind of just slip into it. A very peculiar... What in that is no fucking iguana! Seriously, really? How dare you! How dare you! He's a special boy. Who needs a hug and a pat? Twin! Knife on the ivy. Oh, it's a puzzle. Yeah, that first part was original. Lily, 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 right? Let me think. I don't know. Oh, you're changing it to a horse. No, no horse. That's not right either. Looks like it's the Lucifer one, actually. Oh, is that what that's of? Yeah, that's Lucifer. I had wondered. Hmm. I think the original one on that was right. But I'm just guessing here. Because mm -hmm. this Lucifer, though, kind of makes sense. Although it's kind of... Yep, Lucifer. Oh, Oh, we can free! Free! And he gave us a coat of arms piece. Thank you, Dwagon. Good boy! Oh, there's still more to do in here. He's smiling. He's so happy. Oh. And there was one under the Minotron that I didn't see. Yeah, hard mode, you actually have to click around and find things. Uh. Yeah, we go in here. Oh, there's the Minotaur horn. There's still a little more to do in here. Oh god, I think the rhino's blinking too. They're alive! Let's give the mentor back his horn so we can at least get the wolf.
A woo. Watch this. What happened? Where are we? We just time traveled. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's definitely different. I believe the correct question is rather, when are we? What do you mean, Holmes? Look at these traces of struggle. Look at the shape of the room, its decoration. Everything appears as if Sir Roger was just killed. Smell the air. The odors of gunpowder and blood are still fresh. You don't really think that we went back in time, do you? Probably impossible. <laughs> we just went back in the fucking time. Normally, I would reply no. What we go eight later. miles an hour? But for now, I'd rather not say anything. I do not know how or why, but it seems that we have stepped back to a few minutes after the death of Sir Roger. There is always an explanation. Be patient. Magic. The explanation. Oh, speaking of magic, is it okay if I tell everyone here about the game we're making? Oh, of course. Yeah, we definitely need more, more people to know. So they go on my goddamn Patreon and freaking do things, because good god, is it scarce there, and I'm actually worried. What he was talking about is we are slowly but surely working on a game together with a couple of other friends. Uh, the game is called, at the moment, Foster. It is going to be an RPG maker, game maker type game. <laughs> yeah, features cryptids. Because why not? Yeah, I don't think there actually are that many games that feature cryptids. Except maybe that Bigfoot Jason game Mark plays sometimes. Yeah, that one, but mine's very, very different. Yeah, it doesn't feature Mark running around screaming in a weird southern accent. <sighs> yeah. Though that would be hilarious. But yeah. That, that needs to be a game, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but de definitely, like, we're gonna link, when, once once we're done recording this series, we're, in every video, we're gonna put the Patreon mm -hmm. down below, so you guys can go check it out and possibly support the game, because good lord, we need it, because I'm no composer or programmer, and I just really need those. And she pays people for their work, because exposure does not pay bills. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Like, I will def- like, any work that anyone wants to do for this game, I will totally pay them for it. Reasonable amount, please, though. I mean, we have an artist, technically. A bunch of them. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, we do. But we, we just need, need, like- We need, like, other the things. Program yeah, a programmer and someone to design the music, specifically. Also, if someone out there is really good with uh, making tile sets for RPG Maker, definitely like let us know. Contact us. Yeah, or let us you know, know on the good Patreon. Tile sets that haven't really been used that much that could potentially be used. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's more of a lantern than a lamp. Oh no, lanterns are very you know. I just don't usually, like, associate them with lamp when I'm in a head and object. They usually specifically say lantern. There's the axe. <laughs> but, yeah, basically that's something we've been working on, and I will link to the Patreon page. I should be following yeah, it yes. as myself, and I technically do have access to it. I just don't tend to access it that much because I feel weird doing that. Oh, uh, no, it's, oh, it's, honey, it's, feel, free to, feel free to go in there and, like, make some posts about progress and all that. Like, by all means, go ahead. Current progress. We have no idea what we're doing! That's how I am with everything, though. Everything is very... I don't know what I'm doing, but still somehow manages to do it. And by the way, we can't... But I'm, I, def I definitely have the story in mind, and we have the characters in mind. We just need the the actual funds to like actually start getting work done. By the way, check this out on the map. right now. You can actually switch on the map between 
one world and the other, well, one time period and the other, without having to touch the wolf head, which is the normal way of doing it. Well, that's good. Very handy. Let's all love how the light from outside is just red. Well, dun, dun, dun. we were just, something just got attacked by a supernatural hound. One second, I need to blow my not so supernatural nose. Crap, I need to find napkins to blow my super, not so supernatural nose. Well, this is a pip. Oh, definitely. People who have watched my channel definitely know that I, that I am prone to using walkthroughs. I don't care about, like, uh, doing that. Like, if I'm confused with something, I will go to a walkthrough. I care more about story than, you know. <laughs> or as I call it going, guide dang it, because that's kind of what it is. Actually, I should check guide the time. Guide dang it. Actually, I should check our time. Oh, yeah, we've passed oh. half an hour. We're almost at half an hour, so I think this is actually a good place to pause. Yes. Um, and yeah, forgive the uh, whole Windows thing. But next time, we will go through time travel. I'll probably guide Ding it a couple of times because I'm not quite sure what to do. I don't quite remember. I know I have to find a crossbow to shoot the werewolf so he comes down. Because <laughs> he has something we need. And he, he seems to be <laughs> yeah. doing stunts or something. <laughs> well, he's already dead, so I don't feel bad shooting him because he's He's probably not even a real werewolf. And, uh... Yeah. I am gonna say, Keo, you are not so far off on the whole it's magic thing. Yay! Yeah, even though Sherlock Holmes magic. tends to be a realistic thing. <laughs> oh, God. Well, you don't know what movies, do you? Which movies? I will elaborate in the next episode. Later, guys.